Since I was just a little boy, I'd like to roam the hills. And to hear wild stories about the Indians was my biggest thrill. I'd shout and yell and holler like them. I wore moccasins on my feet. And I'd make believe I was under a teepee every time I went to sleep. My hair was jet black and I was 21, lots of pretty girls around. But the pale faced maidens didn't thrill me none around my Cochise County hometown. Son, don't go near the Indians, please stay away. Son, don't go near the Indians, please do what I say. One day I went to the reservation and there by Shallow Creek was a beautiful Indian fetching water and I just had to speak. She smiled at me and quickly left but the next day she returned. And it wasn't very long before I told her how the love in my heart burned. Son, don't go near the Indians, please stay away. Son, don't go near the Indians, please do what I say. I told my daddy I'd found a girl who meant the world to me. And tomorrow I'd ask the Indian chief for the hand of nobly. Dad's trembling lips spoke softly as he told me of my life. It was then he said I could never take this maiden for my wife. Son, the white man and the Indian were fighting with and a brave called Yellow Sun scalped my little boy. So I stole you to get even for what he'd done. Though you're a full-blooded Indian, son, I love you as much as my own little fellow who's dead. And son, Nova Lee is your sister. And that's why I've always said Son, don't go near the Indians, please stay away. Son, don't go near the Indians, please do what I say. Son, don't go near the Indians, please stay away. Son, don't go near the Indians, please do what I say.